Welcome back everybody. In this video I'll be showing you how I'm concepting Blackjack as a card game in GB Studio. I've gone through a couple of iterations already and I just want to talk them through with you guys so that uh, you know what you might encounter when if you wanted to make a card game similar to Blackjack. First of all I'll, I'll just show you uh, how I set up this uh, first one. Uh, as you can see these top ones work and these clearly don't. This is this is list level here uh, and as you can see uh, I wanted it so every time I drew a card, it would, uh, you know, show these aspects. Um, but obviously, it, by displaying four cards at once, it kind of ruins the uh, the displaying because I'm I'm using, I think it's three different actors for a single card. Yeah. So the top right is the uh, suit, and the top left is the number. And this would work if the number of cards was very low, but Unfortunately, I think the maximum you could have is 10 cards. Uh, obviously, it depends on how you want your game to work. I think I'm going to make it so the dealer keeps, um, you know, hitting until they reach 17. I think in real games, there might be a maximum of three cards or something. Uh, but I could implement that if it, got, if it gets too unwieldy. And then the player obviously can have maximum of five cards. Um, I think they could have more in real games. I'm really not sure, uh, but I'm just trying to make this you know, simply and have kind of fun aspect to it. Uh, and in this test, we also see that, you know, once it goes beyond the, you know, two cards each, it just completely breaks. So beyond that, we now have, I've made it so the actual card is the suit, which, which uh, basically saves an actor. I'll just show you how it looks. It looks great, right? Like the, uh, the suits are big and you can easily read them. And uh, yeah, it uh, displays very nicely. But uh, if we continue and we, you know, make each of the uh, players, the dealer and the, the player, have three cards each, then it falls apart because we have too many actors in this small scene. Um, I think with GB Studio 3, this would be fixed as the actor limit is much higher. It might work in the future, but for now, this isn't viable, unfortunately, especially if the, uh, if the dealer is going to have more than two cards. We then move on to the even more simplified version uh, where we have a blank card and we have just the the number at the top, um, you know, displaying from ace all the way up to king. Um, and obviously this doesn't look as great, but it means I can have all the way up to five cards each on screen. So I've made it so when the scene is initiated, it randomly picks a number, you know, between uh, the ace and the and the king, all the way up from, you know, 2 to 10, beyond. So this is obviously the two cards each, and that works completely fine. There's no problems whatsoever. Obviously, the cursor going over the top of them does cause some issues, but that's just classic. Um, and obviously, the same thing with the three, where it all works perfectly, except when the cursor goes over it. And then here's the five, and you can see that the the one on the end gets hidden if the player goes over it, meaning that you can't have more than six actors lined up at once, which may cause some problems for games with higher numbers of cards on the screen at once. Uh, but for now, this is kind of, this this works. Obviously, you won't have five cards every single round, um, so I think it's this is the the best balance I've found so far. Obviously, I hope that GB Studio Free will fix some of these problems with their higher actor limit uh some of these you know issues going away of the with the players interfering with the with the other actors uh so that's what i've done so far and i'll just also talk about what i've been planning on doing with this game uh i'm gonna have it so you know every time the player pulls a card they get oh i didn't actually talk about uh how this actually works i i removed the actual bottom of the card uh, and I've just put it onto the background. The background image holds that information now and then this is just the top piece and it just slots on uh, and I'm gonna make it so every time they I'll show you every time they hit hit here um, it will bring them from you know a level with only two cards to a level where they have three cards. And obviously I'll make it so the dealer has its own thing as well which uh, goes into this calculation and takes you to the correct scene. I have to make a scene for each of the uh, amounts, you know, from two and two to two and five and five and two. 
if that makes any sense. So it's it's more background based, but because of the actor limits, you see it's 10. Um, this is at the very edge of what is possible in GB Studio. So it's kind of made me realize that GB Studio isn't great for these kinds of things. Um, I know other Game Boy development things that are more code based uh, can swap out the, the background tiles, which would ultimately fix all of these issues, uh, as you wouldn't be using actors, you'd just be switching out the background tiles. Uh, that would be so much easier. But yeah, you see I have these buttons for hit and stand, so when, you, when you're ready you stand, and obviously if you get bust then you lose. Uh, I'll have another screen for, you know, how much you want to bet before this, and then you, um, you either win it or you lose it at the end. So yeah, I hope that uh, was helpful to some people who are thinking about making card games, or even if you hadn't think about it, maybe you uh, consider what might be possible in the future, if not even now. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll put my patrons up on screen right now, thanks to you guys. Like the video if you liked the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'd love to hear what you think about this and what you'd like to see from me in the future. Thanks again for watching.